The Jackson County Sheriff's Office partnered with the DEA to host its annual drug take back event today. The event is a way for individuals to dispose of all medications in a safe and eco friendly way. No questions asked. The DEA wants individuals to know the proper way to dispose of drugs. And as News 13's Jessica Ayers tells us, that doesn't mean tossing them in your trash. Prescription drugs do have an expiration date, but that doesn't mean you should flush them down the toilet. That's one of the reasons why the DEA started a take back event, hoping to encourage people to do the right thing. The main focus is on expired prescriptions, but Ronnie Furness, supervisor of the Jackson County Sheriff's Office says they'll take it all. We would like for people to come up here and turn in their illegal drugs for certain, but uh, you know, not typically do you see uh, your illegal street drugs brought up here and turned in. However, uh, if they would like to come turn them in, we would be more than glad to take them. Furnace says the more that are off the street, the better. But typically, they don't see too many illegal drugs turned in. Typically, excessive medication that they've had, either some that's had pain medicine that was prescribed to them for a surgery or whatever, and they didn't take it all, or elderly people who have an abundance of medication that they no longer take. But also, they might not exactly know what was turned in because the sheriff's office doesn't look inside the bags. We, we take the packages and we, we get a weight, a total weight of the pharmaceuticals and turn them over to the DEA, actually weighs them on their scale, and they, they sign them over and take them. After receiving the boxes, the DEA disposes of it in an eco-friendly manner. But why worry with the process at all? Why not just flush them or throw them away? Furness says they strongly urge individuals not to go that route. It'll potentially get down into the water system and, and affect, you know, the water, nature, animals, things of that nature. So. If you missed the event today, Furness says there is another way to get rid of your old medication. You can obtain a prescription destroyer from your local health department. There's a bottle that uh, is filled with carbon. Essentially, you pour your prescription in there, whatever it may be, shake it up, and you can throw it away uh, in your household garbage. In Jackson County, Jessica Ayers, News 13, Panhandle Strong.